Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArkelTexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Tuesday morning forecast update. And today is the day we'll have a pretty big change in our weather pattern going away. The low humidity and the just comfortable and dry weather and returning for us will be the humidity and scattered thunderstorms for the rest of the week. Now, the storms for the rest of the week probably not going to be severe or cause any flash flooding, but they will be out there, uh, especially each afternoon. So just park the umbrella by the door, grab it on your way out today as we'll be uh, dealing with these on and off showers and storms for the remainder of the week and maybe into the weekend as well. So look at Pinpoint Doppler. You can see a little bit of rain popping up uh, north of I-20 this morning, but I think the focus for the morning rain going to be shifting down to the south here. You can see these uh, showers and storms just kind of popping up uh, in this warm and humid air mass that has taken over. We basically have a warm front here. You can see where the cloud cover is pushing up towards Tulsa and Little Rock. That uh, warm front moving across the Arkeltex late yesterday and overnight is kind of set us up with an air mass that is conducive for this thun thunderstorm development. So it looks like, uh, at least in the short term, most of the rain going to be moving up across northwest Louisiana. It may stay a little bit east of Shreveport, but in Shreveport, I can't rule out maybe seeing some rain and thunderstorms at some point before the noon hour today. So much warmer this morning morning. We're in the mid-70s, Shreveport and Natchitoches. You can tell that uh, warm front just through Texarkana here. You're at 71 and still out ahead of the front here. We're in the low 60s. So Ida Bell to Queen, Mount Pleasant feels great there today. And your rain chances in these locations uh, will be a little bit lower since the atmosphere not really prime the same way as it is everywhere else to see some rain. Uh, winds have kicked in about 5 to 10 miles per hour, so that is transporting all of that uh, warm and humid Gulf air into the region today. And uh, You can see the rain will have a big bearing on the temperatures where we expect the rain will get going a little bit earlier. Just 83 today for Natchitoches and Manny. Shreveport 88, same thing for Texarkana, and where we'll probably get missed by the rain. Long view to Mount Pleasant to Idabel, right around 90 degrees this afternoon. So uh, initially this warm front is what's bringing the rain today but you can see this big uh, bowling ball low here over the four corners region once that begins to move in tomorrow as well as Thursday we are definitely going to see an uptick in the rainfall just about everywhere so we'll take you through the next few days on your Robins to a future cast uh, not picking up on the rain this morning but it is showing some of these showers and storms popping up as we go through the afternoon today and you can see uh, basically for the drive home your chance of rain will be a little bit higher I-20 and southward but notice we can't rule out some rain here in the northern Arkeltex as well but there should be a uh, noticeable increase in the rain tomorrow Futurecast not really showing that but we do expect these uh, widespread showers and storms which Futurecast is showing uh, to the north of us to actually be overhead tomorrow so I think it's going to be a pretty soggy Wednesday and Thursday for us again the rain will come through in a few different waves especially in the afternoon noons for the rest of the week so uh, latest look at the rainfall totals here still highlighting maybe an inch or two of rain with some isolated higher amounts and again those uh, higher amounts that you're seeing here in the northern Arkeltex those could easily be uh, here south of Interstate 20 as well so no matter where you're located you can uh, probably see receive about an inch or two of rain with some possibly higher amounts as we go through the week but with the dry conditions we've had for much of the month of September here, the ground should be able to soak this up with uh, no problems at all. So the rain chance stays very high through Friday. That will uh, keep our highs low to mid 80s through the upcoming weekend. Can't rule out some rain this weekend. It looks like we may have a frontal boundary that will slowly move through the region here. So we do have some showers and storms in the weekend forecast as well. And maybe uh, finally seeing this rainy pattern come to an end early next week. But uh, pretty enjoyable daytime highs and overnight lows should drop off a few degrees as we head into the upcoming weekend.